All right? Now, what's the beginning of wisdom? The creative power. Because we just said he created the earth and the heavens with that. Am I right? So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of creative power. Y'all still with me? Yeah. We, just did a, we just did a replace. Yes. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of creative power. Okay? Now let's talk about the fear of the Lord. Okay? The fear of the Lord means what? Reverential fear. We regard him when we make decisions. That's the fear of the Lord. We're not doing things in our own accord and in our flesh. Am I right? Amen. Okay. Now, who is the Lord? What does the Lord mean? Now this I'm going to tell you. He is the one that has the absolute control. He is the master, the lawgiver, the one that executes judgment, Amen. and he is the one that wages war. That is what Lord means. It's not just God. He is the one that comes to complete a task. That's the essence of God that completes a task. Okay, y'all looking at me. Every time you see spirit of the Lord, or you see the Lord, this is who he's talking about. The one that comes to wage war, execute judgment, give law, and be the master. Does Paul say he considered himself a prisoner? Huh? Of his own free will, he is a prisoner. Okay, what does Isaiah 61 say? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Why? Because he has anointed me. So they're not the same. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. So I have the ability to walk in that part of God that wages war, executes judgment. Come on, somebody is the lawgiver and the master because I am anointed. So I have the power and authority over devils. Come on, somebody. I have the power to control the atmosphere. I have the power to lay hold to a region and snatch it back. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I got the power to give sight to the blind. I got the power to raise the dead. Come on, somebody. Because the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because I am anointed. They're not one and the same. All right, y'all quiet. Huh? Let's try another one. How about every, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess what? That who is Lord? Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Now how come, how come that scripture says Lord? Huh? That's right, because he's standing his lordship, because he's the master, so ain't nobody going to be able to buck him and say, no, you're not. Even if you haven't been serving him, at the end of everything, you're going to confess. Because he'll be standing in his lordship, in his mastery. I'm the boss. Always have been. You decided not to serve me, but you still going to humble yourself and bow. All right, we still dealing with the Lord. All right, how about the Lord's Supper? Huh? The Bible says some take it to themselves damnation. Why? Huh? Not discerning the Lord's body. Y'all should know that one. Okay. First Corinthians. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. Huh? And then the judgment. What's the judgment? Weak sleep and many, many sleep. Weak and sick. That's the judgment. That's the God that's issuing judgment. Huh? Are you getting this Lord thing down in your spirit yet? What does the Bible say? Children, obey your parents in the Lord. What's going to happen if you don't obey? What? That's the judgment. That your days may be long upon the earth. Huh? The Lord ain't no joke. Y'all calling on the Lord. And who you need to be calling on is Jesus. You need to put the Lord away for a little while. Because you don't know who you messing with. Huh? 
Now they gonna get mad at me for this one. 